Howdy folks, in this video we're going to be producing a color-coded budget versus actual combo chart. So this is something where I, um, I saw a solution that somebody else had in a different, a different product besides Power BI, and I was thinking to myself, boy, that sounds like it would be easy to reproduce in Power BI, and it turns out it is, and here is how you do it. Well, first off, here's what it actually is, right? So give it a second. So we've got this uh, combo chart here, so it's bars and lines. And this is our sort of um, budget v actual, right? Expense v actual. And we've got what the budget is here as this line. And here's what the actuals are as the, uh, as the columns, technically. And if they're under, under budget, they're green. And if they're over, they're red. So that's what we're trying to produce. It's uh, a little bit harder than I thought it would be at first, but it's still pretty darn easy. So let's get to it, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and just minimize that. Okay, so to start off with, let's head over and uh, let's see what we're working with here. We've got, um, in fact, a, a data table. Data table looks like this. We've got uh, monthly data, and we've got an expense amount, a plan amount. Pretty darn simple. So uh, what we're going to start with is we're going to start by uh, creating a measure that is, we're going to call it over, right? And what over is, is I'm going to do uh, shift enter. Basically, we're going to create two measures, one for over and one for under. So it's going to look from a, from a user's point of view that there's just one set of bars, but there's actually two distinct measures that are populating those bars. That way we can color them differently, right? Uh, the over is going to be, it's, it's going to be just uh, total expense, but only one expense is over budget. And under is going to be total expense, but only one expense is under budget, right? It's pretty darn simple, right? So let's go if, right? And we're going to say, okay, if um, the total budget, that's our measure that we've already got defined, we're going to say if, actually, let's say total expense is uh, greater than, uh, let's say greater than or equal to total budget, well then, go ahead and show total expense tab, okay, complete that out, and uh, if not, show blank type it out all the way. Blank. There we go. Okay, uh, pretty darn simple. Okay, so if uh, the expense is greater than the than the budget, all right, we're over. Go ahead and show the expense amount. Otherwise, show nothing. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and enter this. All right, so let's, uh, maybe now's a good time. Let's, cr let's start creating our, our chart just so you can see this thing being built uh, one piece at a time. So we're going to take, uh, here we've got our chart. We're going to take the month label. We're going to throw that on the shared access, right? We don't want that. Turn that to just regular. So let's go ahead and take our total budget and throw it on the line value. That's going to be a constant. Let's take our total expense and throw it on the column series. Or I'm sorry, column values, right? And this is uh, a start, but we want these to be uh, different colors. So watch what happens when I uh, take my over measure and I throw it on the column values. All right, just throw it right under there. Okay, so uh, anytime, anytime the value is over, it shows the measure. Anytime it was under, it doesn't show the measure. So let's increase the size here so you can see that maybe a little bit better. Yoink. Okay, see, notice how uh, we're over here and so we go ahead and show the measure, but here we're under so we don't show anything. So now let's create our, um, we're going to create our under expense. So to do that, I'm going to click on over, and I'm just going to triple click to select everything. Control C to copy it. Come over here, right click, new measure, and Control V to paste. All right, we're going to change this from over to under, right? And now we're just going to change the greater than or equal to just less than. Okay. And uh, boy, that's it. That's all we got to do. So now we go ahead and hit enter, right? Now we could take under throw it on there and boom okay so now whenever we're we're over we get the over measure and whenever we're under we get the under measure the size of these two bars is exactly the same right um, this one's just smart enough to know uh, to only render if it's uh, if it's in its own unique case so the over bar renders when it's over the under bar met renders when it's under so now we can go ahead and get rid of our total expense bar boom there we go okay we're most of the way there home stretch. Now all we really got to do is change the color on these things. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to twirl open data colors, and I'm going to say for under, that's generally good, so we're going to use a shade of green. I think I decided on this particular shade of green right now. 
for over, um, we're actually going to use a shade of red. Now, in this particular color palette that I've got, uh, this is a this is designed for categorical encoding, right? So we actually avoid red because red is almost always a special case of bad, or uh, depending on your culture, really good. Um, so here we'll start with rose, but eh, that's okay. We could we could live with that, but that's not really what we want. So I'm going to go derive a red just so you can see how that's done. Oh, uh, before I do, let me change this total budget to color right there. I'm a twirl open shape. Whoop, twirl open shape. Make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's go find ourselves a red. Now, uh, the first thing we're going to do if we have to derive a color is I'm going to go get the color that I'm going to uh, complement, right? The one I'm going to pair with. So I'm going to, ooh, I did that really fast, didn't I? I'm going to go ahead and escape. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I'm here in data colors, right? Uh, I want this to be red, and I want it to be a red that kind of matches the style of this particular green. So I'm going to click on it, go to custom color. And double click there to select the uh, the hexadecimal color value. Control C to copy it. Hit back and twirl that closed. Now I'm going to go open up, you know, um, Chrome or uh, Edge or you know what have you. And I'm going to go to any color picker application. My guess will be at some point we'll get um, an HSB color picker in Power BI, but you know they've just got a lot of just a whole ton of stuff that they're working on. So for now, um, you know we're going to rely on, on a third party. One that I'm uh, particularly fond of from my video days is one called Cooler. That's an Adobe product. Uh, so I'm just going to go search for Cooler, and here we go. It's a cool tool. You could use it to do a bunch of fun stuff. But the uh, the thing I really care about is that we're going to be able to come here and under this hex value, we're going to be able to um, select the existing hex value, whatever it is. And uh, I just double click to, to select the whole thing. And I'm going to do Control V to hit paste and hit enter. And notice if I scroll up a little bit, the green I had over the hair is now the green right here with a little arrow right there. What I could do is I could change the hue, saturation, and brightness for this, um, which is, you know, uh, that's how you would adjust your color. And so to start off with, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to keep the saturation and brightness exactly the same as the green, and we're just going to adjust the hue, right? So we're going to move a, around the color wheel, right? Being as bright and as grayish as a uh, as we are with the green. So let's click on HSB, and I'm just going to start. I'm just going to press the down arrow and just keep pressing down, kind of hold it down a little bit, and yep, keep going. I'm going to keep my eye on this color, and I'm going to. It was on zero. I'm going to do like a hue value of three. Zero is just fine. It should just be a nice looking red, right? Now let's try that. I'm going to triple click, control C, alt tab, oop, alt tab to go back to my, my report, twirl this open, right? Go to custom color, double click and hit control V to paste it. And that's not too bad. Um, that might be, uh, I might actually uh, ease off on the, uh, the brightness a little bit. Uh, maybe even the saturation. In fact, why don't I just show you what that's like? Let's say that I decide that this red is a little bit too bright. What I can do is I can go back, whoops, go back here and say, all right, even though mathematically this is a, sort of the complement of that color, I mean, not the actual complement, but it, it complements it well, I'm going to go for the, so hue, saturation, brightness, hue, saturation, brightness. Let's bring down the saturation. Let's make it a little more gray. It's going to mute it a little bit. I'm always cautious with reds because red is such a powerful color that if you use it, uh, it tends to be the only thing people see on screen. So you want to sort of mute it sometimes and calm it down a little bit, uh, mainly because when you really need it, if you've got some some chart where there's a, a big uh, emergency, right, you want that to be the red that really stands out, the really super-duper high saturation red. Okay, well, I, I was talking while I did that. All right, so I, I came back to here. I, I found the color I liked. I selected it here. I copied it, and I came over here twirl this open, go to custom color, double click and hit control V. Every once in a while you'll find that the colors actually don't change in the chart when you copy and paste it. Uh, all you have to do is remember the last digit, like in this case it's a 2, hit backspace and hit 2 again, and that'll usually uh, cause it to render correctly. Okay, uh, you know, and uh, so we could adjust this further, but I think we, we get the sort of general idea right here. Um, oh, one last thing, I'm going to go to the legend, I'm going to increase the font a wee bit. And since basically the legend is the title, like it, it shows all the information we need to that a title would, we can go ahead and get rid of the title. So let's get rid of that too. Twirl, close the legend. Twirl, close the colors. Turn off the title. And let's change the legend from top to top center. Boom. 
And there we go. Nice and easy. Okay, so I, there were a couple little diversions there where I showed you some other kind of neat tricks. But I hope you see that really, if you need to do that, you could do that very, very quickly. And it's a very uh, nice line chart. Okay, well, I do hope that was helpful. And I will see you next video.